stop sign on the stop. She accelerated. She was waiting for a big wheeler, three, what they would call it, 10 wheeler or 20 wheelers to pass. Yeah. Hallelujah. No sooner this vehicle was just very close her, she accelerated and left the corner. But because of our prayers, and our prayers, pray, say our prayers. Our prayers. I was seeking the face of God. I was seeking the face of Our God. Our covenant with the Lord. Our covenant with the Lord. He swerved all the drivers away from her Amen. to enable her to do all the cocoa man dance. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You understand what I say? Yes. She was doing all the whole cocoa man dance with the with her vehicle. All the vehicles that were supposed to pass through in, in the intersection were running running away. Then they parked and we are watching her say what would have been happening to this lady. Hallelujah. Amen. It was not by her own strength that those vehicles went away. Your God is alive. Amen. 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 Our God is good. Our yes, our God is good. Yes, our Lord is good. Is good to us. Our Lord is good. So permit me, as I flow as the Holy Spirit has led me, to discard and hold on everything I have written for this message I prepared already. It led me to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 16 to 17. And he said, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a sharing in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a sharing in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are in one body. For all of us share that one bread. Communion is a cup of unity in faith. Communion is a cup of what? Unity in faith. The Bible several several told us that the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, they are what? One. And in the course of the early church, when they came together and they were of one mind, the power of God moves. Brethren, I want to tell us that communion is a, a, a service that our fame, our unity in faith and our togetherness. It says that for we are many. 
but we share one bread. We are many, but we share one bread. We don't share each person to his own bread, which you should know is common. You go to a, a restaurant, each person go and collect one plate. You are your own. Hallelujah. But in this one is one bread, many of us taking from that bread, sharing from that bread. You are not looking on the other person whether he wash his teeth or he brush his mouth, whether he had a leper hand or a crippled leg. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether the teeth is a fork teeth or a whatever. You are not looking at that. You are not looking on how the other person, all you are looking at is the bread that we are sharing. That bread becomes the center, the focus, the meeting point. That bread becomes the center where the whole energy is energized, is located. That bread is the bread of life. Communion is a cup of unity in faith. Paul was making clear, he said, look, brethren, you see, though we may be from different backgrounds, though we may come from different mothers, different culture, different learning, but there's one thing that have unified us, one thing that have brought us, that will make us to look at ourselves, look at one another with the same eye. That is a communion of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. So when someone is absenting himself, who is of right to partake of the communion, then it means that you have to check yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to go to the mechanical shop and clean up yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, the cup of blessing which we bless is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we be many, are one bread, and one body. For we all partake of that one bread that will unite us. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember when we were growing up, we used to see, uh, you know, elders, they go to meet him back from where we were coming from, back to home. When they go to meeting, there's one delicacy that is prepared in one, one, one plate. And there's only one spoon. Hallelujah. And they will pass that plate with one spoon. One person will volunteer to carry it. Because I don't know, maybe it's a, it's a, it's a monitor. Monitor so that you don't take more than one spoon. You carry it, you take one. The same spoon, they carry it from one, one person to another, one person to another. And at that time, I don't think they were using toothpaste. Praise the Lord. <laughs> no, toothpaste is a recent event. Hallelujah. They were using what? Chewing stick. Uh, did you use chewing stick in back in Jamaica? You used to sing? <laughs> you told me it. <laughs> they did. <laughs> and yet, there was no discrimination. There was no. Everyone was, you were not mindful of the other person. All we are minded is a bond of love that unite us. Brother, there is nothing that unites us as the people of God than the blood of Jesus Christ and the body of Christ. The cup of unity. Unity in faith. So when you come, Paul was telling you, look, brethren, irrespective of your, your coloration, what you are, your personality, your quality, your, your social standard of, of rating, the 
What had brought us together is it not a cup of unity? The communion of Christ. I want you to understand that when you come to the table of the Lord, you are coming to galvanize what you are or to come as kind of alloy what you are to an, another so that you become one mentor. No, when we chemistry, we have when different elements come, they become one. When they come together, they lose their individual uh, characteristics and now bear one. Become an alloy. <laughs> By the cup of unity, the cup that we drink, the bread we eat, one bread. By the one cup we drink from, we become one character, and it means that our lives we know that we lose our own properties. We lose our own individual personality and characteristics and now bear the character of Christ which is a love that has no boundary. There's no differentiation. There's no, don't differentiate nothing. No wonder Paul said there's no